How about some sleeper teams? Let's talk about some sleeper teams in college football this year. So we talked about the top 10 out, out of the top 25. What is a team or two that you think that might be ranked, might not be ranked, but you just think they got an opportunity to do something like kind of sneak in there and maybe make a deep playoff run, I might say? Hmm. Mm, right offhand, I'm going to say USC. I think mm. coming from, from Caleb Williams, you got the new quarterback over there, whatever, man, for real. You got to shine. You got to shine bright. But the time is now with y'all guys, whatever. You still got a nice, nice uh, receiving core, still got a nice little running back or whatever. But defense ha hopefully got revamped. So they did. with those things, with those things uh, being in the play or whatever, because Caleb Williams didn't play much of a season last year. He did it at the beginning, then he just started like taking off games and just wasn't doing much. So for that new quarterback to come in. What's what's the quarterback's name? You know the new quarterback name? Miller Moss is his name, and he can throw the ball. Moss. Moss. He can throw right. the ball. Last year, what, in the Holiday Bowl, he threw for three, 372 yards, six touchdowns, and a pick. I mean, he can play. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He can play. And, um, obviously, USC, you have the quarterback whisper and Lincoln Riley. And they mm -hmm. did revamp the defense. Dude, they got all new defensive coaches in there. Their D-line right. coach that they brought in used to coach Aaron Donald. So, I mean, they made changes. They and they're, USC definitely is going to be on the radar this year. But, I mean, that defense has got to step up, man. Last year, they were just horrible. No, got toasted. Horrible toasted. last year. Toasted. I mean, their schemes, everything, it was terrible. Like, right. everything was bad. So, But, yeah, USC does have an opportunity to mm -hmm. sneak up Make on somebody this year. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with – I'll go Oklahoma State. I'll go Oklahoma okay. State. They're returning 18 starters this year. They got nine on both sides of the ball. Uh, running back, Ollie Gordon, one of the best running backs in the country. Nice. Man. Led the league in rushing last year. I mean, this dude is a flat-out beast. Beast, a uh, superstar in the game, no question. So when you have a player of his caliber, you're always going to be a legitimate threat, especially offensively. I will say – their defense has got to make a jump as well. Last year, I think that defense really held them back from like winning certain particular of the games where if your defense might have been just a little bit better, you could have won this game, that game. Uh, and then you're looking at their schedule, man. I mean, they don't really have, you know, in the Big 12, I mean, they could definitely be a playoff team. And in the Big 12, they could make a push to win that. I think that Kansas State at Kansas State is really their only – Real, real game because Kansas State's going to be really tough too. Mm -hmm. And the they Cardinals always team, tough. they're always, they're tough. always so tough. So that's going to be, I think, when they play Kansas State, they play Kansas State early here. They play them, what, week four? I think week four, we're going to really know something about the Big 12. If Oklahoma State beat Kansas State come week four, I think they might be onto something, bro. And I think they, they could have maybe a one, a one loss season, I might say, maybe two. I mean, they're just plays for a good season. Watch out! Watch out for Oklahoma State. One other one I did see was the Miami Hurricanes. Mm, I knew you was gonna say that. Watch out for them Hurricanes, bro! It's hurricane season in Florida. I ain't gotta tell you, bro. I ain't gotta tell you. But listen, you got the you talking Miami Hurricanes? They had a killer off season. Transfer portal, bro. They cleaned up nice in the transfer portal. So they got quarterback Cam Ward from Washington State. Guy can play. He can throw. Very efficient quarterback. And running back, Damian Martinez, bro, from Oregon State. So for people who are not that familiar with Damian Martinez, this guy is like a highly underrated running back, bro. Highly underrated. This guy can fucking flat out play. He's electric, bro. And one thing that I didn't know was that watching guys that are way smarter than me, I learned that he's one out of three players who are first team in all conference in the power five in the last two years, bro. It was Martinez, Quinshawn Junkins, and Blake Corum. So he's with those caliber players. When he's being recognized and acknowledged as that ca that kind of caliber player. This Duke can flat out play. So you add that into the mix with Miami, bro, and they have a cake schedule. They got a cake schedule. Their opening game – is we're going to know what's up because we know what their opening game is, don't we, Sam, down in the swamp? I already know. You know, so we're going to know what's up. But if they can get by, if they could get by y'all, dude, you got Florida State at home in week eight. That's about it, bro. Everybody else, they'll easily take the ACC.
easily. If they get by y'all, they could go eleven and one. So both of these teams that I mentioned, man, they got a they got strong chances to be great and have a great season. So watch out for the Hurricanes, bro. It's hurricane season in Florida, man. It's hurricane season. The record shows, man. Miami haven't beat us in probably like fifteen years, bro. It's been a minute. Uh, they're due, man. They're due. It's been a minute. <laughs> they're due. And and Miami always look good. They always got the speedsters. They always got the fast quarterbacks and all the good defensive players. And, man, for real, it's endless.